I'm Charlie Sykes from The Bulwark. It's October 4th, 2023, and Kevin McCarthy is out, and Republicans are in disarray. They're bitterly fighting with one another. They are at war with one another, and apparently shocked that this is what happens when you empower and enable the lunatics. If only they had been warned. How did we get here? Kevin McCarthy is blaming lots of other folks. He's blaming Matt Gates, who's pretty awful. He's blaming the Democrats. But it really comes back to Kevin McCarthy, doesn't it? He's the one who made himself the hollow man, unloved and distrusted by everybody. But it wasn't necessarily always this way. Remember how it began? Remember when Kevin McCarthy was the future of the Republican Party? But Kevin McCarthy wanted to be speaker. He wanted to be speaker so badly that he was willing to make every concession. He was willing to humiliate himself in almost every manner possible. He thought that if he gave uh, the bomb throwers in the caucus everything they wanted, that they would leave him alone. He thought that if he embraced this woman, that somehow he would be immune to the fevers of the fever swamp. And he was obviously wrong. So in the end, after eight Republicans made it clear that they were going to vote to oust him, he made a last minute pitch. Would the Democrats rescue him? Seriously, the Democrats were going to prop up Kevin McCarthy. They were going to prop up this guy. Let's just review the record. Kevin McCarthy, after the 2020 election, actually aligned himself with people who went to the Supreme Court to have the election overturned. Even after the attack on the Capitol on January 6th, after the Capitol was cleared of the mob, Kevin McCarthy voted against certifying the election. Now, for about five minutes, Kevin McCarthy was willing to hold Donald Trump accountable for the attack on the Capitol. Remember when he said this? The president bears responsibility for Wednesday's attack on Congress by mob rioters. Well, that didn't last very long because within a few days, he scurried down to Mar-a-Lago on bended knee, and you know what happened down there. This was the picture that resurrected Kevin McCarthy's political future, apparently, but also threw Donald Trump a lifeline. Um, and after that, what did Kevin McCarthy do? He undermined the January 6th investigation every opportunity he had. He orchestrated the purge of Liz Cheney and then worked to defeat her in the primary. He tried to torpedo the investigation in January 6th, flip-flopping on whether there should be a bipartisan commission and then refusing to have Republican members on the committee. Real man of political genius. And then... When he had a chance to be speaker, we went through that 15 ballot farce and he made one surrender after another, really laying the seeds for what happened. I mean, it was Kevin McCarthy who said that only one member of the House should be able to make the motion to vacate the chair. And we know how that all worked out. And that's the way his speakership went. Very little substance, lots of performative hearings, lots of smoke and mirrors. Um, there were some spending deals, but he quickly broke his word with the Democrats. He made a deal with Joe Biden, and then he walked back from it. He said he was going to have a floor vote on impeaching Joe Biden, but he felt he had to throw more red meat to the extremists in his caucus. And so he launched the impeachment of Joe Biden, and we know what a flaming clown car that's become. And then last week, when it turned out that he needed Democratic votes to keep the government open, what did he do? He didn't give the Democrats chance to actually read the bill. And he, then he went on the Sunday morning talk shows and he dumped all over Democrats. This is what he had to say. The Democrats tried to do everything they can not to let it pass. They did Democrats dilatory. were the ones who voted did you, for this did you in a did larger you watch number it? than Republicans to, to keep the continuing resolution alive. Did you watch 90, the floor yesterday? Oh, yes. Okay, 90 the, the, Republicans voted against it. One okay, so Democrat let's, wa let's walk through it. what actually happened. First of all, the Democrats stood up and did dilatory actions, asked to adjourn. So was that supporting to adjourn? Then they used the magic minute. They went as far as pulling the fire alarm not to try to get the bill to come up. Look, That's Democrats Jamal stick together, Goldman. but they did not want the bill. They did not, they, they were willing to let government shut down for our military not to be paid. Well, that infuriated Democrats. And yesterday when he needed them the most, the Democrats played that tape at their caucus hearing. And that was one of the reasons why they looked at each other and went, why would we bail out Kevin McCarthy? Why would we want to 
bail the Republicans out of their own mess. Now, there are some pundits who think that the Democrats should have been the adults in the room. Really? Because there's nothing adult about Kevin McCarthy or his short and lamentable and deplorable reign as speaker. But you know who's enjoying this? Donald Trump. In fact, there's even some fan fiction out there about making Donald Trump the next speaker of the House of Representatives. Now, I don't think that's going to happen, but the fact that Republicans are even thinking about it is a reminder that you are not the crazy ones. I'm Charlie Sykes. We'll be back and we'll do this again tomorrow.